Hi, welcome to Mesa. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Mesa to automate the everyday challenges of running a Shopify store. Jumping right in, there's a few ways to get started. The first would be to use a template. Templates are pre-built workflows that require little to no setup. Templates are the fastest and easiest way to get started with automation, and any template can be customized to fit your specific needs. Another way to get started is by building a workflow from scratch. This is a great option when you can't quite find a template that matches your needs and you would rather create the automation from start to finish. If you can't find a template that meets your goals, or if you can't quite piece together your automation idea on your own, feel free to reach out to our support team via the beacon in the app to help get your workflow set up. You can also contact our merchant success manager, Shannon, to schedule a live screen share call to review your workflow goals and help you get set up. Just use the schedule session button from the dashboard. To get started with a template, go to the discover page. You can filter templates by categories of interest or specific apps. Once you find one you like, just install the template and follow the setup instructions. From there, you can enable your workflow to get it up and running. To get started building a workflow from scratch, you can click the Create Workflow button from the dashboard or the Discover page. When building a workflow on your own, there's a few things to keep in mind. First, all workflows require a trigger and at least one action. A trigger is the event that will start, or in other words, trigger, the workflow. A few popular triggers are Shopify Order Created and Shopify Product Created as they're common events to start a workflow around. An action is the event that will happen after the workflow is triggered. A popular example of actions are adding a tag to a Shopify order or sending a Slack message. There are many triggers and many actions to choose from, so feel free to explore or search for exactly what you need within the builder. Additionally, if you select an app other than Shopify for your workflow, you will need to connect your credentials before continuing. This is a secure connection process and your information will not be shared. If necessary, some fields may require additional information. They'll be identified with a red asterisk. To satisfy the requirements of a given field, select an option if it's a drop-down menu, input text, or select a data variable from the variable selector. After setup, be sure to test your workflow via the test interface. And finally, turn the workflow on. With all this being new, let us create your first workflow for you. We recommend scheduling a call with Shannon. She can give you a personal tour of Mesa, answer your Mesa questions, or help you get your first workflow set up for you. If you need any help or assistance along the way, you can always reach out to our incredible support team via the chat beacon. Happy automating.